And we're in the hands of the starter. 11 of the girls towing the line as they are underway. And in lane number one, it's Gwen Watson from Queensland. Lane number two, Chloe Phelan from Victoria. Number three, Hugh and Wilson from New South Wales, followed by Greta Johnson of Queensland. Popper Scott Dalish from Victoria. Matilda Lestrange from Victoria. Matilda Cole from New South Wales. Amelia Morton from Victoria. Olivia Da Costa Alves from Victoria. Orla Shackloth also from Victoria. And to round out to Victorians in this under 20B, 3,000 metres is Charlotte Jackson. Thanks, Michael. And it's our early pacemaker out there is the Queenslander. She's going to get her bang for buck tonight. She's going to come here for a fast time. She's one of the two ladies in the field that has gone sub 10 minutes before with a 9.58. So Gwen Watson is the Queenslander leading at this early stage with Matilda Cole from New South Wales, the one sitting on her heels as they go down the, through the tunnel for the first time. I love that shot there. Pre-race down the back straight. That tunnel's going to look pretty awesome later on when it's full of a bit of a crowd as we go around 25 laps. Now I can only imagine the athletes running through that tunnel. as And there is still is, like, that's the um, probably one of the places around the track that actually is lined shoulder to shoulder at this early stage. So they will feel the atmosphere as they come around that 1,500-300 uh, metre start mark each lap. So, so stringing out one by one, there's not really a pack forming, um, but it still is Gwen Watson at the front, and they go through that first lap in 76 seconds. So we mentioned to get under 10 minutes, and they average 80 seconds, so they're well on track for that, Nick. They are. Brady, what do you reckon here in these 3,000 metres? Are they a, a negative split type style for these junior girls or are we going to run pretty even laps tonight? Uh, I think with the pack so formed at the moment that we might see a bit of a kick down. That's kind of strung out a bit, a few off the back, but it shows how um, aggressive they're being when they're four seconds under the pace that most people's PB this early in the race. So it's good to see in the Queenslanders, first and second. They've sat on planes and stuff to get down here, so they want to come down and have a decent run out of it and push the pace. And two Queenslanders leading the way. These um, Zadapec under 20, 3,000 metres have become over the years a pseudo sort of national championships. And this year actually is national championships for the, for the A race. So it is great to see a couple of Queenslanders, a couple of New South Welshmen and a number of Victorians towing the line here as they come up to the 800 metre mark. And yeah, Michael, you're down the back straight, there is the two Queenslanders moved away. So that's Watson from Greta Johnson, the two Queenslanders in front. Poppy Scott Dalgish is the next one there with also a Matilda Lestrange. So the two Diamond Valley athletes, so very familiar with them here in Victoria. The, the two sitting in third and fourth piloting the pack through. But they've given about 10 metres there to Gwen Watson, who looks really strong at the moment. With second there is Greta Jots Johnson. The pack chasing through there. You've also got Chloe Phelan out, sitting out wide on the outside shoulder there of Haywin Wilson of New South Wales. But the Queensland has come down past here and we're talking about 1K. They're going to hit through in the 1K there in 3.12.99. So we're on for 9.39 pace. So sub 9.40 tempo for the ladies. Exactly what we talked about, Brady. You'd wonder if they're familiar with themselves as well, Nick. Like both from Queensland, they probably raced each other a lot over the years. You wonder if there's an agreement in place, um, you know, with a bit of wind around to take a few laps each and really try to put it to the other states in this race. Yeah, look, the, uh, the Queenslanders, I mean, it used to be for a long time Victorian junior distance runners were the dominant force, but the Queenslanders in, at the moment are doing great things at national level. We'll see some later on in the men's under 23,000 A race. I reckon a couple of the favourites there are from Queensland. They, they dominated the, the world under 20 uh, cross-country team this year in Bathurst, the Australian yeah. team. There was a really strong representation of them, um, and there's several of them in the A race as well tonight. So not a shock to see the two Queenslanders out in front. And as you said before, pre-race, Michael, they had to prove here tonight that they deserve to be in that A race. Exactly. And um, although they're not experiencing the warm weather of Queensland and, um, and making the advantage known to all the Victorians, they're coming down and making advantage of that cold weather and going one, two, and saying, chase us. We're making the trip worth it. And we're going well under 10 minutes here tonight. Yeah, so they're still... So they've just eased a little bit off on that last... 400 so it sat there at about 79 so they're still inside that 80 seconds they're gonna be well inside 10 minutes tonight the question is how close to 9 30 they can go with the tempo that they set up early chase pack that's gonna the diamond valley girl is gonna to need to do some work to peg back our queenslanders as they head down the back straight there 
The last of our group there, Charlotte Jackson, coming through, and she's sitting at the moment. The, the field strung out over just on 90 metres. And that 1,500 metres, they went through in about a 4.50, 4.51. So still around that 9.40 to 9.42 pace um, is slowing a little bit from about 500 metres to go, which was about that just sub 9.40. But the gap is only widening. We've gone from about 20 metres to 30 metres, and now it's about 40 metres to the pack of Victorians that are chasing the two Queenslanders out in front, Brady. And it looked like Gwen just looked over her shoulder at Greta about 100 metres ago and said, hey, you're going to help me out with a bit of pace here? And she's done that. She's gone around her and almost put in about a five-metre gap uh, instantly, and they both still look strong, but out in front looks just a touch stronger coming up with three laps to go. Yeah, so Gwen was a... who's just... A, now let uh, Greta work past her. She was a finalist in the under-18 national championships in Queensland. Sorry, yeah, in, in Queensland earlier this year. She was uh, 12th there at those junior championships. She ran well on that occasion, obviously. The two athletes here, as we said, very familiar with each other. Gwen is the 16-year-old in the field, while 17 is Greta Johnson the Queenslander now that's taken control of this race down the back straight and looking to spread that gap out to about five metres and then a pace check, a chase pack sitting 40 metres behind them, still led by the Victorian duo. And is Chloe Phelan leading the rest of the pack as they string out across that back straight? I wonder what role the atmosphere here being the first event at the uh, on track night tonight with the DJ playing around the uh, steeplechase area, running under the tunnel, running through the, do we call it the beer tent or the party tent? I don't know what's appropriate yeah. for the under 20s. They've gone through that 2K, about 2,100 metres, just under that 9.45 pace. So slowing slightly. But Watson just extending a, uh, sorry, Johnson extending her lead. I think that was a, definitive, a bit of a definitive move in that last 200. She's doubled that lead over that, that last 200 as she comes down the main straight. With two laps to go, I think it's uh, Greta Johnson who's chasing the clock right now. Gwen Watson just going to try and hold on. And the battle for third started to heat up a little bit. So next comes through is Chloe Phelan. See behind there is Matilda Lestrange. Then it's the New South Wales a athlete there in Wilson. Amelia Morton. She's just on there in six. She's been doing some good things in the Victorian School Series recently. Poppy Scott Dalgish, a familiar one here where we have at Milers. Then throughs Olivia to Costa Alves. Matilda Cole from New South Wales. And then Rani feet there is also, we've got Orla Shackloth and also Charlotte Jackson. But our lead's out to 15 metres now, 600 metres to go. And it's the Queenslander Greta Johnson moving away from Gwen Watson. And in the mine, they might be battling out for the minor places as well. Those athletes that you just mentioned, Nick, but they're well on track to get PBs as most of them best time sitting around the 10 10 10 11 10 13 mark so they go eight minutes through that 2400 meter mark with one and a half laps to go as they chase the two queenslanders who are just extending their lead greta johnson has really impressed me i love the way that she let the pace get set early it was a little bit quicker than that 940 tempo which she's unfamiliar with so with one lap to go here, let's see what she can finish with, see how close she can go to maybe a nine, maybe a 75 second last lap and get something around that 9.45. The crowd's starting to lift for her. Greta Johnson it is. Gwen Watson gets through and she gets the bell next. The race for third's a hot one. Amelia Morton's the, the third of those athletes there with the New South Wales athlete sitting behind Matilda Lestrange. Next through there's Chloe Phelan, as we mentioned. Number nine, Olivia da Costa Alves. And then also Poppy Scott Dalgish gets the bell. They're at 8.54. So the tent for the last time for Greta Johnson of Queensland. The lead's out now to 20 metres there to Gwen Watson. Michael, what do you reckon here? How quick are we going to finish this last 200 metres? Just by looking at her stride and her gait, it looks like she's only increasing her pace. So 9.12 with 200 metres to go. We still are looking under 9.50. Don't know if she'll get 9.45, but it's going to be interesting to see as we just lose her behind the DJ stage there. And there she is, Greta Johnson. Got a lead of about 20 or 30 metres ahead of Gwen Watson. And so then look, the rest of the field chases. This is going to be the biggest victory she's had here, the Queenslander. So Greta Johnson brings it down the main straight. She came in with a 10.04 personal best. It's 9.44 now. 
We thought 9.45 might be on the cards. It won't be, but it's going to be a big personal best for the Queenslander. And Greta Johnson, 9.52, takes the victory, 9.53.04. The fireworks go off here. Next through is going to be Watson of Queensland. The Victorian Lestrange through next, Morton, Wilson of New South Wales. They're going to be just over in 10.04 there. Chloe Field and a Victoria comes through. Number nine there, Olivia de costa Alves of Victoria. And then the next one through is Poppy Scott Dalgish, who was leading that chase pack for quite a while. But it was the Queenslander tonight, Greta Johnson, who did all the work. Brady, a good way to start the night. Yeah, Queenslanders with, you know, what have we got? A 12-second PB to start the night. Well, well, a lot of PBs, Nick. Just looking through the start list, I'd say yeah, three-quarters of the field's probably run a PB tonight. So a great way to start and, uh, yeah, a great way to kick things off. I'm just looking at this fire go off. Uh, pretty <laughs> sure it went off after every single person in that race across the finish line. So it's going to be a big night of pyrotechnics here tonight. Maybe we should change jobs next year. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having my finger on the, um, on the fire button with all the athletes coming across the line. That looks kind of fun. I reckon, though, I mean, <laughs> what a thrill that would have been then for Greta Johnson. She was 14th at the Australian Junior Championships under 18 in the 1500. She ran, she, at, the, at the Queensland All Schools Championship, she was second. And here tonight, she's come through to take a win in front of a really healthy crowd here. 